After a series of shark encounters off the Carolinas in 2015, these two scientists went on a mission. It's coming in fast, too fast. Now, Dr. Greg Skomal and National Weather Service meteorologist Joe Merchant are showing us firsthand how they're testing a revolutionary new theory on forecasting shark attacks. Joe believes a weather condition called a sea breeze may set off a predatory chain reaction, bringing nutrient-rich deep water closer to the surface, attracting tiny marine life that feed on the nutrients. Those small creatures attract larger fish, which in turn attract the ocean's largest predators, sharks, on the hunt for prey. At the same time, sea breeze conditions make for great beach days, drawing sunbathers into the water. We can use the weather to indicate what sharks are doing, we might be able to predict whether or not a shark attack can occur. I'm really excited to work with Greg to show him that my hypothesis is correct, that the wind and the weather have an effect on where shark location is. They say sea breeze at the sites of many of those attacks was a factor. Lead the way. So far, Skomal and Merchant have gathered data in the Bahamas, and today the research continues in Cape Cod. What are we hoping for? Well, we're going to get out of this inlet here, and uh, that's the primary hunting area for the white sharks, and we're hoping that we'll see one and then uh, get a tag in it. What level of confidence do you have that one day you'll be able to forecast when sharks are going to be near humans? I am very confident. Up above, a spotter plane stalks our target. So he's at 10 o'clock, 9.30 right now, the plane and he's right over a, a white shark. So you're working in tandem with right. a plane who's seeing the sharks. Right. So we are going as fast as we can to find the shark that the plane spotted from above. Finally. Oh, I see it, I see it. A nine foot great white shark just feet from an isolated beach. This is so close to the beach. This is really close to where humans would be. Oh my God. Look how big that is. Greg takes his tagging pole to the front of the bow and waits for his moment. We're tagging a shark. Oh, wow. Go. Got it. Oh, there's the fin. Once the tag's in it, we'll start learning from that fish. One of the things we're trying to do is get a, a sense of what drives the behavior of these sharks. Certainly it could be weather conditions, it could be water temperature. So we're testing all these various factors to see if there's any patterns, including Joe's ideas that drive the behavior of these sharks. Sharks like James, a 14-footer and a regular at this beach every summer. He's dead ahead. This is a nice big fish. This is a real shark. There have been dozens of shark sightings this summer and many more around the country. The ultimate goal of Joe and Greg's partnership is to make people smarter and safer about potential attacks.